So, not to excuse this, um, here's the RGB LED, silicon wires, quite long, but I've got some sleeving, braided sleeving on there. There's a K-type thermostat. This is not the one that came with the sensor converter thing. These are normally used for, say, multimeters. This is a two, mil, uh, two meter wire, long wire. Okay. Here is the Arduino Nano and the sensor board. So there's a the Nano there. This is a sensor board. Oops. Basically, you've got uh, red, green, and blue. Obviously, we've got a common cathode. Is it cathode? Cathode it is negative, isn't it? Yep, common cathode. RGB, so the black one just going to wear. The red, green, and blue are going to pulse with pins. I'll put well if you look at the code, you'll see which pins they're going to. Oh, excuse me, I'm full of hair fever. I think it's hair fever. And he's a he's a sort of sensor board which I've soldered directly onto the pins. Remove the terminal you can get these without the terminal and without these sort of header pin things which I would probably advise okay now this thermostat isn't the one that came with this although they're both K types I think this does report different temperatures to the one that came with it so don't rely on the temperature it's given out exactly but basically this will sensor temperature and the nano will pulse width modulate although most of the data is sent over as 255 so it's like fully on on an analog right to whichever color needs to be set now for yellow because you cannot just about achieve yellow with rgb leds you need green and red mixed but you've got to have a low level of green compared with the red to get anywhere near a yellow. I'll show you this in operation just now but basically I've got this well or sheet of cardboard on this on this cork under here that's my aluminium sheet that's on there some cutouts for the wires that's for the heater mat because this is a heated bed on an aluminium sheet. See that square there. So I think that's to allow for that. This cutout is to allow for this LED to come out somewhere near the front. I don't want it poking out too far and a bit of a gap there to let the light sort of even out a bit to the sides. Okay. So I'm going to put this heat pad back on that, keeping the wires in. This clamps on to the edges of this aluminium plate here. With these holes for now. And then I'll show you it working. So it's 12 volts going in here. Input. Because these two, these nanos, and anyway, with these ones, the one with the USB port on, so it's getting tangled up here. They do have a voltage regulator on, which I believe can go up to about 30 volts. I think that's that three pin chip there. See that three pin on the right hand side? I think that's a voltage reg. I'll put some drawings of this.
so you can see how it's wired. As I say, that's a non-standard thermo couple, I think it is, K-type, that I'm using. I have to use that. The one that came with the sensor is pretty big, so that would not fit under here. Whereas, obviously, this one will. This is quite small, just like a, a bead in a way, I think. Okay, so I'll get this put back together, this bed, and then... I'll show you it in operation. Okay, I've wired it up. Let me plug it in. Oh, it should come on green to start off with. As you see, it lights up green. And this is, as I say, based on the bed temperature. So the colour will be based on the bed temperature. At the moment it's sort of set to zero. So at anything above 35 I ask it to change to yellow. Okay, so show you that again. Right, let's turn the bed temperature up. Control temperature, bed. I'm going to put it on 40. Now, can I... I don't know how well we can see that. Both of them. Move that over a touch there. So when it gets to 35, this should change to yellow. A yellow is basically green and red mixed. There's a very small amount of green and quite a bit of red. If you're wondering about that. So target temperature is 40, now this is a little bit, because it's taking, see now it's gone to yellow now, or near enough as I can probably get with, on yellow, and that's basically mixing green and red. Now because there's two LEDs lit at the same time it's not ideal. Yellow. 40 degrees on the display there. And showing a yellow, well, red, green and blue, but it looks should look a bit more yellowy. Okay, let's go under temperature again and we'll turn it up to 50. No, 47. 47. <coughs> now when it gets to about 45, remembering that the temperature probe is below the heat pad and there's some heat absorbed by this lower plate here. So, you know that affects it a bit here but anyway when it gets to 47 ish which I've set it to it should change to a solid red it's actually saying 48 but as I say uh, now it has changed to red And when I change it, turn it up again. Temperature 
bed to anything above 50, let's put it on 58. The bed will start flashing once it gets to round about, well anything over about 50. It's in 49 at the moment on the display. So basically it'll still be red, but it'll just be flashing on and off. Let's actually look at the temperature, can you see this? See, and it's, it's flashing there now. So that's like a warning that the bed is pretty hot. Now any temperature above 50 it will just keep on flashing red like this. Well approximately 50 I'm going to say. This is some thermal mass in the aluminium sheet I've got below this and such like. And it's not a hundred percent spot on accuracy because I am not using the standard like thermal couple. Okay, now it takes quite a bit of time for this bed to cool down. I'm basically going to ask it to switch power off. So now the heat bed is actually asked to go to zero. I'm only doing this on the heat bed, I ain't doing this on the nozzle. The temperature is at 57 and it will take some time for the heat to get lower. So here are the temperatures, anything less than 35, green, 35 to 40, yellow, 45 to 50, red, and anything above 50 degrees, which is pretty hot, is red flashing, for extra emphasis on that sort of dangerous heat.
Seems to work quite well for me. Now I have to really try this at a high temperature for quite a while to see how well the wires stand up. These are supposed to be silicon wires I'm using. See how the LED stands up to the heat. I am unsure how well this lasts because it's got to get the heat off this. There's a this orangey reddish sort of thing is a layer of the heat pad. It's going to get quite a bit of heat coming from that to the bulb, so I would expect that to shorten the life. Only time will tell how good that's going to be, so to speak, how, how long it will last. Obviously that LED they could put, be put somewhere else to indicate the temperature which is now at 33 in the heat bed still showing yellow oops, see sometimes it might look reddish if you could look at them from a acute angle Now if this bulb fails where it is because of the heat obviously I'm going to have to think about moving it somewhere else. It's got quite a bit of like flexible cable coming out the back which is up sleeved. So there's a, so one of these is for the heat bed and the thermometer and the other one here is for the LED and it's thermocouple, I should call them thermocouples I believe and they go over the back I do have a piece of rubber over the edge of this sort of plate which I cut off a piece of cable electrical mains cable, two core the outer cable, that's like a U shape super glued that on that edge of that plate so when it's moving backwards and forwards on that plate it's not going to wear out quite so quick. So yellow, as you can probably see here, the reflections on this aluminium, we've got red and green. Is the temperature like setting the Arduino? Setting the 35 green, 35 to 40 yellow, 45 to 50 red, and 51 to 50 red and flashing. So showing yellow, then on display. So it should be your green now. Well, you're going to mention your green, you'll see if I can see the track. We'll go to service. Is it red Thirty uh, ah yeah, no it's still yellow or classed as yellow because it's got red and green mixing together there. Oops.
29.9 There we are, it's gone to green at long last As I said, it's gone to yellow and green a bit as it gradually goes And that's on 29 on the display So it's gradually going to go on to almost solid green as it cools down even more with the target temperature set to zero. One thing you might have to watch for is the ambient temperature where you are. But I think a 35 is a good temperature for living in the UK, England. But you can modify the code to suit twenty nine seen on the display and it's still fluctuating between yellow and solid green. Be going quite quick as it changes from one to the other there as it must be presumably getting borderline to go on to solid green all the time. Still 29 on the display. going to do I'm going to set the bed to about 240 something like that and leave it at that temperature for quite a while to see how well this LED survives at that temperature. I probably won't show you that see there we are it seems to be on pretty solid green now and the temperature on the display is 28. All basically that's going to happen now is basically going to get cooler down to the ambient temperature about 24. So that seems to be working okay. I need to do a test at a high temperature for quite a while to see if the LED can survive that. <laughs> 